It was several weeks ago that the West Indies Players Association had invited 12-year-old Romel Lawrence to the one-day international between the West Indies and India at Sabina Park. Well, yesterday, the dream of the cricket fan, the young cricket fan, the little boy with cerebral palsy, became a reality. Nadine McLeod visited Sabina Park to capture the moment. Overwhelmed, 12-year-old Romel Lawrence was eager to watch the game and meet the cricketers. It's great. I actually, I actually didn't go to sleep last. It was his first time at Sabina Park watching his favorite game, cricket, lovely cricket, live. Within moments of arrival, Ramal got to meet the West Indies team. The players were just about to begin playing. For Ramal, it was truly momentous. Our news team had highlighted Ramal's plight weeks ago after finding out that his mother hadn't managed to get him into school for six years. Now Ramal is back in school but was granted the day off. I went to Ministry of Education and I spoke to them about taking Ramal from school today and them said that it's okay. Vice President of Weeper, Wavell Hines, and head of the Cuthbert Fitness Bootcamp Group, Gillette Cuthbert, were there to share the moment. They were instrumental in making this day a reality. To get his wish to come to Sabina Park and to see the, to meet the West Indies team and to see cricket for the first time at international level uh, makes me feel very well. It's almost a, a selfish feeling for myself, I think. I'm feeling so good for, for Amal that it's, it's unbelievable. It's a really awesome experience. You know what the, the main thing is? Seeing the look on Ramal's face. When, when he came in the car this morning, I picked him up, he said he didn't sleep last night. And he was just full of excitement. And that in itself, knowing that he's going to meet the players, that he's coming to Sabina Park, that's what we wanted. Ramal himself was a star at the cricket match. A few people wanted to meet him after seeing the primetime news story. Even a policeman who was on duty at the match. Tremendous talent and it needs to be harnessed from now. With that aside, it was time for cricket. Ramal's favourite player, Chris Gale, didn't play yesterday because of an ongoing dispute with the West Indies Cricket Board. We wanted to hear Ramal's thoughts on that. That meeting which he had, they say that, he, well, they didn't resolve their issues. Well, I don't know, it's just speculation. I'm not, I'm not Dina Rai, Ronda Rai, or one of them. But although Chris Gale didn't play, Ramal got to realize his dream of meeting him. He had a word of advice. There's a slight problem with him because he doesn't, he doesn't move his feet in the crease. So um, he, he, looks, he, looks, he looks like he doesn't move a lot in the crease. So he just focuses on his eye contact and his muscles to... to, to so basically, poor him and luck. If he doesn't like, he doesn't like to run. I must say thanks for the advice, Ramal. Um, I'll try and put those things into practice for you personally. The Windies won the match. They were playing for pride because India had already won the series. It seems that whenever no pressure is on the West Indies, whenever they lost the series and they had more games to go, they win them. But with pressure on them, they lose. Now we are yet to see them win a victory under pressure. But I'm hoping to see that. Nadine McLeod, TVJ News.